Welcome to Pocket Watch Podcast. I'm Zach. Cruz. Jake. And we're fucking Pocket Watch Podcast. Yes, yes sir. Laugh at us or learn with us. We're here to grow. And That's growing, we're fucking doing, man. Pocket Watch Podcast. It's your boys. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Uh, for another week. Back again. Pocket Watch Podcast. Thank you for tuning in another week. Uh, make sure you like. Follow. Share. Subscribe. Tell your moms. And your father. Sister. And your sister. Yes. Yeah, I'll take the brother today. What's up, brother? <laughs> please, 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 please. Uh, check the descriptions down below. Different ways to support. Again, W Energy Drinks. If you want to subscribe to our channel, we'll give you different, or not our channel, to our Donations list or whatever will give you different shit or whatever. Uh, thank you for tuning in though. Regardless, yes, we got some, we got another week for you. Let's and go. Thank you guys for the support. You know what it is. Let's go. All right, Let's I got something it. for y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. I'm always ready. You ready? Are you ready, man? All Not right. Sure. So, wait. Turn the music down. I need dramatic. I need that presence right now. All right. I want you guys to think of something. All right, because this is something that clicked for me that I didn't really realize. Uh-huh. Uh, so you heard, uh, not Lionel Messi, because Messi went to Miami, right? Yeah, into Miami. Who was the other guy? Talking about that. The Mbappe? No, 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 no. Let's go back in time. It was Messi went to Miami. That Cristiano Ronaldo? Went to. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I was, um, <laughs> that, that Saudi, Saudi thing. I forgot Saudi what it was called. Saudi thing, right? The okay. Saudi Arabia thing team, or whatever cool. it was called. Then you got, even before then, right? Golf. Live. I don't know if you guys ever heard a live golf tour, like the turn. Anyways, uh, they were challenge. They were taking the um, what's the golf, the professional PGA? golf. They were taking like not PGA, but they were taking professional like uh, golf players, and right? The soccer and they're no. paying them bread to play no. soccer. No, no. no. LIV oh, is like no. An, it's like it's like another PGA, but for another country. Oh, yeah. okay. But which country are we talking about? Saudi, I think it's Saudi Arabia. Fuck, bro, so the Saudis, they came out with. Or is it Dubai? No, it's Saudi. It doesn't matter. Like, let's just <laughs> talk. Anything. My point. Emirates. It's okay. We sound stupid right now, but when when I say my point, you're gonna understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Okay. Get to but, the point. But it's let's call it oil money. Uh huh. So oil yeah. money started live, okay. right? Which uh-huh. is a golf tour. Yeah. That and they paid mad bread to all the best like PGA golf tour players and took them to the mm-hmm. point where like recently they merged. Whatever the case is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lionel Messi goes to Miami. Cristiano Ronaldo goes to Saudi. Oil money, and you know about you heard about fucking Mbappe, bro. Okay, yeah, out Saudi offered him a shit ton of money too, bro. Like seven hundred and seventy six mil, bro, million for a year, for one fucking year, just for a year. And he said no. Like he didn't take something else. Like one yeah. thing, Lionel Messi got offered that oil money, and he, and he chose Miami, and he did his. You know, did like Mbappe say either. no? I thought I thought he said no to like the initial offer. And I think they counted, didn't they? Or no? no I, don't, he I, I saw else. he said no. But who knows? He said no. Regardless, nobody has thought, and like something that's been on my mind has been like, why recently they're getting so hard into the sports. Because mm. it's not just golf; it's soccer. Whatever yeah. the case is, let's just see what's next. Right, because it's yeah. been literally like fucking six months. Yeah, that's true. It has. It's been a. Year, let's call it a year, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's call it a year, but still, that's a lot of activity. Like a lot. Like you're taking the top soccer players. You're taking the top golfers. You know, like still, kind of, yeah. still attacking other soccer players like this yeah. guy or whatever. And one thing that I was realizing was, uh. So I was doing this, I got an international business project and I had North Africa. So that's, so North Africa is totally different than like, like Central and South Africa. Yeah, that's right. And then Middle East, (laughs) right? fucking different. So pretty much the areas with oil money. You got North Africa and the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. Right? And uh, I was reading mad shit and they were talking about how, uh, because they are like literally like combined like 60% of the world's like, Gas, like yeah. fossil fuels, yeah. That, yeah. right? So, like Venezuela, like there's some other places that got crazy fossil fuels like that, but they are like pumping oh, shit right now, yeah. and that's why they they have the terms like the richest people are like that oil yeah. money, like that's mm-hmm. the thing. But they've been going hard on like they know that that's not gonna last. Mm-hmm. Like they feel mm-hmm. like it's, and they know like maybe n- not the and, next ten, twenty, thirty years, but they feel like if we want to keep doing like what we're doing, 
we need to start thinking of other shit. So they've been focusing on terrorism, like all these other things. Terrorism? Tor- tourism, yeah, right? not like, terrorism. Yeah, you really got to <laughs> pronounce it better. Yeah, man, he's, you said tourism, terrorism. Yeah. You said terrorism. You're right on the cusp, bro. Right <laughs> on the cusp. <laughs> you said terrorism. But that's not new. <laughs> I'm talking about recent. <laughs> All right. No, 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 wow. no, 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 no. Chill out. We're getting canceled for that. Chill out. <laughs> Kuwait's in there. That's that's Saddam. Kuwait. All right. That's anyways, <laughs> tourism in the Middle East, bro. I was th- regardless, they've been they've been planning on knowing, you know, and that's yeah. smart. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah. billions of dollars from this oil money, and they've been thinking about uh, what are we going to do for money, like in the future, in case this shit starts. Falling yeah. out or whatever. So, so that's what they're doing. Tourism. They've been focusing uh, on tourism right. and a bunch of other shit. Yeah. And what it clicked for me that that article didn't mention was sports. I'm mm-hmm. like, they're doing live. They're getting these big soccer players for their leagues and shit like that. And uh, it just it's just kind of interesting. Nobody ever thought about that shit. Now I wonder if that whole thing just has to do with. It seems like the rest of the world is really pushing towards like. Alternative sources of energy like EVs is right, getting pushed heavily, bro. Like a lot of these car companies are vouching that they're in the next five, ten, twenty years they're not going to have no, not going to sell no gas cars. So a lot of these big companies are saying that, you know. So it's interesting. Well, because like the saying is, you don't want to be like Blockbuster. Right? Yeah. So it's like you got to always be thinking like in the future if you want to sustain whatever shit you got going or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same, so. And it's not like there's anything imminent. Like I don't believe there's anything imminent. Like we're gonna be on fossil fuels. More than cars. I mean, there's a lot of yeah, things bro. Dude, it's not just cars. Just, it's not just cars. Exactly. We gotta remember that machinery, all that other bullshit. So even mm-hmm. like outside, and then it's like how much is their like out their exports drop if cars get replaced? Oh, so yeah. that's it's probably like, a thought yeah, of theirs. But still, if they're coming up with different shit, like. If we got all this technology that's doing all this, it is just a matter of time. Like even the Tesla could not be good. Like that's maybe that's not valid. That's not a way that that all cars are going to be, you know, not running off of fossil fuels. But it's a matter of time. One, one like, thing I will say, people are trying to figure. This one thing out. I will say is those people in the Middle East, bro. They got so much fucking money that. They just blow that shit for fucking fun, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just starting up shit for. But the that's the hell easy thought. And that is definitely yeah. like why nobody ever says anything else because yeah. like yeah. literally that's what they could be doing. Like and they buy cars just to fucking flip them on the highway. I haven't shit. seen it on the fucking deserts. Too. Yeah, they buy like fucking, fucking one hundred twenty thousand dollars Range Rovers just to flip them bitches and fucking trash them like we do so, with little fucking little Hondas. Yeah, that has to be so. When we say Saudi Arabia, we're just talking about like that. no, I'm not talking about Saudi Arabia, Middle East, Middle North East, Africa. I'm thinking like Emirates almost. But my thing but is, that's, like, you think they're trying to be the best in those sports? I mean, like, imagine they. It could be just like, a flex. No, but imagine, like, because there is international basketball. So, would imagine like they ask LeBron and they'd be like, "Yo, bro, you I, come over for so a literally billion when dollars, they offered this guy." Up. So when they what's his name again? Hala, bro. <laughs> huh? Hala, <Ooh>. baba. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Who? What's the guy's Mbappe? name? Mbappe. Mbappe. <laughs> that wasn't that crazy. No, I know. I was like, so Mbappe, I was like, wait. So when they offered wait. Mbappe, like, mad players started tweeting yeah. out, like, yeah. damn, I'll easily go play yeah. basketball. LeBron so was one of them. I heard that. I heard that Bro. the offer for Mbappe was bigger than the whole inter fucking, like, the whole oh, MLS, yeah. the whole MLS total combined fucking uh, and MLB. Pay. Well, think about it. It's like pretty much, I mean, 700 million other reports are like a billion. Regardless, I think LeBron was like five years ago or something made a billion in the NBA. Like but he, he made it over the year, like years. So he's been in the he's been in the league for a long time, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. that just lets us know how much because we can't even, bro. You talk about I, thirty I million. Saying. To me, that's no, no. different than a hundred million or like whatever. You know, but when you're and, up there, and that, there's something you know there's difference. something else to it because, like you're talking about this, and it's funny because I was just looking at this the other day. And I'm wondering why all these people are saying no, bro. Like, what, what, what is? Because normally people would fucking say all that money, I'm going, right, bro. Fuck yeah. But but why why are people getting offered like these crazy insane amount of money and they're turning it down? You know what I would say? Like, I know money's not everything, but what what is but what is the problem for them to be like? No, I don't want to go to fucking Saudi Arabia. You know what I'll say is, uh, you know how like when you're a fan of a team. And like somebody, you feel like your team is like being bitch made some way or somehow, yeah, yeah. and you're like, "Fam, you're getting million dollar contracts and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. you better get like your ass out there up. and play." Them saying no to a billion dollars or five hundred million or whatever the case is, that's their version of like, "No, I like what I do. Like, yeah. like I like playing for the Knicks or I like playing for 
You know what I mean? Like uh, Argentina or whatever the case is. You know, now Cristiano Ronaldo said, fuck you, I'm going to take that money. That's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. But their version, I feel like we don't understand. M- Messi like, did the complete opposite. But, but, but Messi literally said, I don't know. Uh, Ronaldo ain't the same, though. Like, he ain't a Messi. I feel like, like to, he was a Messi. What? But he ain't a Messi. Nah. Regardless. Nah, 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 regardless. He's not the it'd be same, like, bro. It'd be like, for us, somebody, the Saudis are offering us, what, like $800,000. A year or something. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's their equivalent because they're already making millions. Like, you can't, like, if you think about what is, you put a uh, hundred million into like a market or some shit like that, right? And you, you're like guaranteed like that 10% or that 1% a year. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what a lot of these motherfuckers are living off of when you're talking about like past a certain amount of money. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's really not a different life. It's just like a different legacy. It's a different, like, uh, going down different family lines at that point, but yeah. it's really not like today's different life. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. Like when you think about that, bro. Like I was, I was sh- looking at like somebody putting. You're a billionaire, and you could put like a hundred million, two hundred million into like some money market. That's why like they talk about all these billionaires don't pay taxes because they're not even using money. No, they're using like equity that, off yeah. these like investments, investments that they have and that, shit like yeah. that. So you don't have to pay taxes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like at a certain point, those people aren't living different lives really. Yeah. Like they're living the same lives. It's just like, obviously those billionaires is like different lines of their family or whatever. are going to see that money. <laughs> it's a little different, but yeah. anyways, that's that's my theory on why we're seeing this shit in the sports world, because they're doing it in other spaces, and that's planning for the future. Did you guys see the alien? I mean, you want to get into did that? Did we see yeah, the we alien, can. or did we hear about it? They, they actually showed a picture of it. No, they didn't show a picture of it, but okay. you, they, I sent you guys the link with the so fucking. So we are we are approaching a different world. So the post, the article, it was a post of an article. So the article was, uh, foreign. Foreign it was an mass. interview, bro. Was it an interview? It was Go an ahead. interview, bro. Yeah, it was an playing. interview with um, it, right? it was like in the house. I don't know. It was like I'm gonna be I'm alive if I tell you what his position was, but he was like a high level person that was involved and he was in like a like an interview, like during like a deposition type of thing. And then he was being uh interviewed, which I'm sure everybody's probably seen it, but Liddy was like, Oh, have you guys recovered any like UFOs and they're like yes and then she was like it was in a in, in a courtroom yeah and then no so I'm saying it's like a deposition yeah. and then they were like okay did you guys recover any re- like any body remains or anything like that from it and then he was like we didn't recover like human we didn't we, no he said he said we recovered biologics yes from 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 the UFOs and she goes well were the biologics human he goes the <clears throat> biologics did not were, were not of human descent based off of like analysis from like top level people, we're saying that it was not human biologics. That Yo, so honest. like shit has been hitting the fan recently. Yeah, because like the past couple of years, like since those documentaries, since, and then shit like this, bro. Like I'm a little bit more numb to it. Like it's not as crazy it's, anymore, it's, bro. If this shit was coming out like early 2000s, 90s, like people would be losing their shit. People would be freaking the fuck out. It'd be like all fucking was it Y two K or whatever. Yeah, it'd be like Y two K all over. Why aren't we freaking out, bro? I think we, I think at this point we just like ways. yo. Can you just abduct us at this point? Like, can we go somewhere nah, else? Nah, I'm still not like that though. <laughs> so they they like NASA also came out. Uh, they found a planet that could just sustain like life. Ice. You always yeah. see that yeah. shit. Yeah. We say, say, that, say that a bunch of times though. But I just think we find a lot of planets that can sustain life, right? And like, because that's not the first one. There's yeah. the one that's 32 light. There's like mad planets that they feel can sustain life that we have not been to. My, and my thing is, is bro, like. That there could be life. Well, so <laughs> so my if it can sustain it, it could create it. My thing though is that what is the definition of life? Right, an organism. I feel like an organism. Okay, but but what what do we classify as a planet that can sustain life? We classify as a planet that that can sustain life that has water that has our air mixture that we need for oxygen oxygen ratio and stuff like that for us to survive. But that doesn't mean that if there are other life forms that that is their equation to survive so, the moon question, the though, moon is not our the moon is not our our atmosphere to survive but we still send motherfuckers there but bro like nasa says that right and he's right you make a point there but has anybody actually gone there fucking like he said breathe the air fucking no no no, like no. Say, it looks no, it looks no, no, like no, no. It that, that's, that's not what i'm saying though i'm saying that we might not be able to survive those planets that means that there might be other life forms that can't survive on yeah. that planet, and that's what they need to survive yeah and 
also too what you were saying was like it doesn't mean it's like a like a, even an animal you know what i yeah. mean like that shit could be like little organisms like yeah. fucking with each other in the water and shit but also <laughs> fucking with each other in the water like, <laughs> like for real uh but also to that point is over hundreds of thousands of years that does turn into life you know what i mean yeah that's another thing it develops yeah and that regardless my point is there's fucking aliens guys i don't you know what's crazy is i feel like these days you might find more people that believe in aliens than don't honestly like I, I I think it's naive to think that there's nothing else that exists in the galaxy. I think that's naive. Um, but I don't know. Like I want to I want to see some shit though. There's nothing really to say on it, bro. I mean, honestly, we all know aliens are fucking real. It's been fucking documented since like 19 somethings. There's legit videos of people and they're fuck. There was one I watched that was actually true stories from 1970, which almost 18 people called into the 911 station and they actually played the recordings and they all saw the same shit. Remember the one with the cop? In the backyard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's that recent. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was recent. That was that, that yeah. was recent. Yeah. It's just that you've seen so much fake shit. You're kind of conditioned to like, yeah. But the fake shit's actually seeing them. I feel like when you actually see them walking or bullshit I, like that. Bro, honestly, man, I'm so it's so hard for me to believe anything nowadays too, just it's because it's because so much shit comes out and nah, all the different bro. type of whistleblowing that goes on. But not just that, but also the fact that like. Like if any, if a video came out with a with like let's say a fucking alien walking through fucking New York Times Square or whatever, I'll be like that shit's fucking AI, bro. I feel like guaranteed Area Twenty One, whatever Twenty One for Area Fifty One, Fifty One, Twenty One. Okay, I feel like guaranteed. We 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 there's aliens and we have them. Yeah. They're studying. I bet you five to ten years from now, honestly, we yo, know what it that might looks sound like. stupid, but I think too. And y'all can I can say what y'all want. I think there's like probably a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch out there too. Nah, chill. Nah, That's I mean stupid. I know it sounds all right. I know that nah, sounds bro. Out, that sounds far fetched. Nah, but they were saying the same shit about aliens back in that time. And there's motherfuckers who saw aliens and everybody thought they were crazy. There's still yeah, motherfuckers. Total who difference. Get, no, but there's still motherfuckers. We're we're, who we're, saw talk, we're talking about shit in other po- planets, not fucking shit in our backyard. Yeah, bro. Nah, land. Bro, they're I not, believe. They're not I believe. Planets. They're in our backyard. They're in our fucking airspace. They're I fucking flying around. I believe some crazy shit in the water before I believe. No, Sasquatch. absolutely, bro. The water. We've only explored such a small percentage, but yeah. But you can't tell me there's a difference, bro. If yeah, people were saying say aliens Sasquatch, back in 1980s, and they were crazy, right? When people were saying Sasquatches back in 1980s, there's a bunch of fucking documents in history that they said this shit. Nah, bro. You now they're crazy many. too. So what? Well, now aliens are real, but you won't believe bro, the Sasquatch. We're destroying, yeah, yeah. On, bro. We're destroying all the fucking forest. Where the fuck are the Sasquatch going, bro? This is where we you don't like, see him. You don't like, see, do you see bro, the aliens? Hold on, hold on, Yo. hold on, hold on, fast. We literally have endangered species that have like less than a hundred spe- that have like less than a hundred surviving species, and we can go in the fucking wild and find them. You got how many fucking Sasquatch are there, bro? One motherfucker running across the whole continental U.S. Bro, who's really going in those woods to find them, bro? They're going to isolated areas in these woods and what clearing it down, or maybe the the fucking what? Yeah, the, the ranger who's the, the rangers is actually the ones I'm, I'm regarding right now because they actually are the ones that said that they've heard shit and heard things they don't understand in the forest. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go get a Sasquatch off it. I'm gonna go sit across okay, the street right, at Jake's house. Know, yeah, no, I'll let you live. It. I mean, I'm not saying it's real. But I'm saying you can't. No, you're no, saying no, it's say real. No, say no, I'm real. not saying it's real. My saying is, I'm not saying it's not real either. It's one of those like in the fucking middle because if we didn't believe in aliens back then, now they're real. What's to say this ain't? Okay, next. Do, do, you, do you believe in Chupacabra? Nah, nah, everybody <laughs> nah, chill. Nah, nah, everybody <laughs> chill. That's next. That's next, next, next. I got one more thing for this. All right, go ahead. All right, so uh, back when I was in school, I was in an accounting class, whatever, and my professor was telling me, like, Y'all better get good at, like, this, this, and this. Pretty much, like, uh, IT shit. Like, get good at Power BI. Get good at, like, coding. Try to get good at this shit. Because it was, like... And you think you're in accounting. You're, like, I'm in I'm in the the program that's going to... You know, like, I'm, I'm guaranteed money in, in a job. Yeah. And he's pretty much saying, like, they it's easier to teach a coder a balance sheet, an income statement, than it is to teach an accountant how to code. And I was, like... When he said that, I was, like, that is super valid. So pretty much like those big companies were hiring all these like computer science people, teaching yeah. them some finance shit or whatever, That's and it. then they like they could do my shit. Okay, so pretty much you got to adapt, right? Like he was kind of letting <clears throat> me know that. I had a, a conversation with my boss like a week or two ago about how like our system's upgrading, but they're like laying back on the coding. Like they're making it so easy now, right? Where he was saying like, honestly, they're making it, they're framing it for AI. Mm. So he was like, it's not that it's easy, but like they were kind of like, it doesn't take as in depth, like, like, uh, 
to go. I don't know what the, the fuck I'm talking about. Or whatever. Exactly. Like, you don't need to know the language as much, shit. like shit like that, yeah. where it's a little easier. Where like even like, like if you have a good understanding of it, you could do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, uh, but he was saying like where that's he was like I wouldn't be surprised if like AI and this is a guy that's been doing this for like thirty years Takes in that yeah. system. Yeah. Okay, Netflix has been having a strike, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're yeah. they're act. It's been like an actor and writer producer type strike against yeah. Netflix because they're like, you're not sharing your numbers with us. You're paying us this flat fee. We feel like you're making a bunch more money than that. We're oh, just shit. looking for percentages for the most part, whatever, right? So they're having that strike. Netflix oh. just posted out an AI job for up to nine hundred thousand. So the part of their strike too is. Uh, these big platforms paying AI to like write scripts to do and all this lights, different shit. Lights. So they're kind of striking for like a different type of pay structure because they're trying to protect themselves against shit. And if they're striking and they're in the game, that means they know that shit's coming. Uh-huh. Yeah. We don't know shit. We were being ignorant. At we first. don't know we nothing. Self checkouts. But I feel like well, ignored it. It's, their strike is not just like the pay shit. Like I was saying, it is protecting their jobs against AI yeah. as well. Yeah. It's getting crazy though. Because have you guys seen like the AI generated videos? Mm-hmm. I saw the video the other day, and like people were sharing it. it. Was like like the the initial post was like, oh, this was a crazy house party. And it was like it was like almost like the point of view of a guy walking through like a house party. People were drinking and shit like that. I didn't even notice it was AI until I went to the comments. And everybody was like, yo, that's crazy. This is AI generating. When I went back and watched, I realized that some of the hands were fucking deformed. And, like, some like some guy's shoulder was, like, behind his back. And there was a couple of airs. Bro. But, bro, it was like, we're so early on to this. And the, the level of quality that it was, it was like, bro, you can make a whole fucking movie. So you got that. They got these, like. Rap uh, songs, Drake in the weekend on his own song and shit like that. That's just They're making though, new bro. songs with voice <laughs> yeah. clips and shit. Yeah. They had Tom Brady do a stand-up. Just yeah. off of interviews and shit he did. Uh, but my thing is, is like, motherfuckers, you got to adapt or die, bro. Yeah. To the point where, like, this is also proof that, like, you, AI is just a tool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if you if you get good enough where it's just a tool, because hear me out, Netflix posted a job for, for yeah, a range, yeah. the upper end of that range is $900,000 a year, and it's to manage their AI. Mm-hmm. So it's like... You could Bro. you could sit around and be like, yo, AI's taking my job, this but, and this and that. Or you, you know, could learn some shit and like adapt, you know what I mean? And like get you a job that's a new market. Yeah. How there's mad accountants, there's mad programmers, there's mad this, there's mad AI is so new, bro. That's like yeah. being the first podcast out when podcasts yeah. are popping. So you know what I mean? Like, my, my, so I, I wanted to add to that. Um, did you want to add something to what he was saying? Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna pivot a little bit, but go ahead. I don't know if you guys watch Black Mirror. Have you, and then you guys watch yes. Black Mirror. No. Have you ever seen a new season? No, the most recent one. The most recent no. one. So in the new season, the most recent one, they use that same exact issue that they're striking for right now. So in the new season, they, uh, I guess Salama Hayek. You know who she is? Nah, nah. But she, yeah, she's a famous person. I guess she signed her rights over, not real, this is the show, signed her rights. And when she signed for a movie contract, in those verbiages was they can use her artificial image in order to replicate it in other shows and movies, and she doesn't get paid shit for it. Mm. And oh, so, I did hear about that. And then, and then there was somebody else, like the user, which was us, and we, the, the user accidentally you know, accepted that too. So Salam Ahai was playing the user life like in person mm-hmm. and it was recording everything that that person was. so imagine my life against a car accident and Salam Hayek is against a car accident and they were able to do whatever they wanted to with their image and make a deep fake and get it sold and get the money Yo, black, all through that Black Mirror is fucking dope bro that's before, the strike. Motherfuckers that's before can, the strike motherfuckers <laughs> can do that though like yes. how many times you read through an agreement when you press so, accept bro? So, so the crazy thing is is that's actually actually kind of actually came to the like fruition already because um, you know, like that little, you know, like that little AI generation thing, that app. I forgot. Yeah, what it's I didn't download it. I'm not downloading those shit. But, they but, got different things. But, but, for but, that, but there's though. like yeah. an AI generation app, and an attorney read through one of their agreements, and the agreement said that they can use the like basic parents they can use your full image, whatever your likeness, whatever for for to create videos, to create uh, anything. They can create any type of like artificial generated stuff. With your face and your face data and your body data. So pretty much they're taking like that video that I saw of the house party. They can pull your fucking face and put you in that fucking house party. Yeah. See, and and, 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 and people though. and people <laughs> people approve that. And like so they can do so many different things with that. And 
there could be a lot of repercussions for that too. You know, they could be like set up. Yeah, shit like but there's still there's still illegal shit though for that. You know what I mean? A but, little yeah, bit. but there's like, also really criminals. Up to date with that, yeah. like, I mean, criminals that tech savvy is. There's, there's criminals, bro. We yeah. c- could you imagine bro. like oh okay you know like for example we have somebody who goes in and robs a bank or something. Just hypothetically speaking, somebody robs a bank and, and then the they just they just go ahead and change the whole fucking image with the fucking AI replication or Johnny Depp now scary. robbing the bank. Yeah. That's but, fucked up. But now I, I kind of wanted to pivot off that a little bit. Still in the AI realm. Did you guys hear that there are video games that are going to start adding AI components? I like that. I that. So, so there I are like that, that makes sense. That's so there's a lot of cool. no, but it can also get kind of creepy too. That is so cool too. so like they were listing off the they were listing off the video games, and one of them was The Sims. Mm. Oh, perfect one to implement. Yeah, but the crazy part was is they were saying that like they were like talking about hypothetical situations, and they're like, how crazy would it be? They said the problem with like a lot of the other video games. The video games are more based on like you know you're you're, you're fighting Story you're doing different mode. things. The Sims is literally a person living life, right? And they're like, what if that Sim decides to start questioning like, why am I in a video game? Like like I tr- pretty much questioning their existence, right? Starts asking questions about their existence and finding out they're literally just in a realm like an online realm that doesn't even exist. And they were saying that, that it could fruit, like, it can cause issues because they can if they learn how to like hack, hack the address. If they learn how to like hack, <laughs> those Sims learn how to hack. They can low key like hack the internet, and they can do a Show bunch of other accounts. shit. Ooh. And then they were saying not just that, but the Sims can write write video games. So like, he's like, can you imagine like a Sim writing a video game and playing Sims and Sim? <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally how it could get to you know what I mean. And the whole point of the Sims game is to teach your teach your Sims um, like skills. Yeah. And what if those skills like really become something like. Deep, like deeper than what it actually is. What if they can actually learn how to use the real computer in the game and hack the online system or something like that, and learn how to fucking actually Google how to fucking because they have like criminal masterminds and shit like that, like as jobs. What if they're able to actually find real information on that? Yeah, bro. So hey, we're gonna see some shit before we die, bro. I, I hope like you're all ready, are, man. Yeah. Strap in, strap in. On a positive note with AI, though, I literally thought about Madden or 2K, and I was like, yo, imagine you could play like against computers and they're learning you. Yeah, because that's the best that's part about playing Ooh, online. That's scary. It's like you guys are playing a game. Like yeah, he knows what you like to exactly do. Yeah, route. but like if the computer could do that, it'd be kind of dope. Bro. Yeah, it's like, like oh, I know, I know, boss. Cruz on the third down. Oh, he's always shooting threes doesn't. all the time. Yeah. We, 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 you know what I mean? Like computer don't do that. That'd be pretty yeah. dope. But I didn't see it like that. That's smart. That's true. Anyways, anyways, on a positive note, yo, thank y'all again for listening for another, another week. week. Mad shit down in the description for you guys to support us if you want. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, follow. Damn it, Jacob. Oh, my bad. I, I, I jumped the gun. I jumped the fucking gun, bro. My bad. You know. Anyways, what? just like us, guys. Peace. <laughs> Pocket watch, watch out. out. Pocket watch out.